Okay, let's look at how to use Link Whisper to quickly add some internal links pointing to this particular post we are editing. And it's pretty important for Google to understand our pages, but also for the user experience so people can learn more about different topics we discuss on our blog. So Link Whisper is all the way down below the content. You can see the Link Whisper when you add inbound links, I set it to only look at the keyword for this article. So most all of our articles have a keyword added to it. Some don't. And that's probably because it's a broader topic that really doesn't have one keyword that it targets. But for the really larger topics, we have a keyword. In this case, it's street food, Japanese street food. And when you click on add inbound links here, what Link Whisper does is it looks for all the pages where we use that keyword. So you can go through these and look for linking opportunities so people can find out more about Japanese street food. Now the reason I don't auto link these keywords is because oftentimes keywords are used also in a different context and you don't want to link to those if it's in a completely different context. And also for Bite My Bun, for example, we have a lot of posts that are on Japanese food, but also um, a smaller group of posts that are on Filipino food. And I don't really want to link from a Filipino food post to Japanese street food. So it's always good to look at these and assess if it's a good linking opportunity. Now, the other reason I don't auto link is that I oftentimes want to add a little bit of extra information so a reader can get more of a sense of where he'll go when he clicks on the link to read more. And I'm going to show you how you can do that. So we've got a lot of posts where th street food is mentioned and now we can add some extra link opportunities here so here's an asian food post and it mentions street food you can see street food is in this sentence and when there's a little blue arrow there are more sentences in that post that you can also use so you can choose one of these that fits the link best you can just choose one where you think that the link would add the most value so let's just keep the top one and once you check it and you go through all of these links and all the way at the button, you click on the add links button, then this exact blue part is going to be the anchor for the link. So sometimes I'll just keep it on just street food, just the, the keyword itself. So this is a post about Filipino street food. So let's not add it there. This is also Filipino street food. And look, it's no disaster if you add a link in a Filipino post. It's not the end of the world. Just look at the title and maybe you know the dish isn't Japanese and then don't link from it. So this is more about this street food. So now I can add, edit the sentence and maybe add some extra text. So now a person knows where he'll go if he clicks on the link. So I don't really like links in these bolded parts of a sentence. So I'll not add that one. And you can just add a little extra like Japanese street food, because it is Japanese street food. It's actually is an incorrect sentence. So we can correct it now. Chao Pao is also a Filipino food. Takoyaki is Japanese food. So it's not an exact science and I'm sure you can do a better job of explaining where people will go to when they click on the link. But if you go through these and add some to our posts, then we'll cover all of these topics more in depth and Google will know that we covered these topics somewhere else on the site. So that's good for SEO, good for the reader and good for the comprehensiveness of our site and the site structure. Now I'll just go and click add links. Maybe there were a few more extra we could have done, but you can go through all of those and add a few links to our posts. Now, once we click add links, the links are added in the posts. So you can see them in those editors as well. And also the actual text is changed that we changed using the small text editor. 
Okay, so that's how you add extra internal links with Link Whisper.